Hi, this is Linda Woodup, Director of Technology Services at Tech Impact. It's so easy to video chat with Sarah. Once I'm in a conversation with Sarah, I'm going to look at the bottom of my screen, and there are three things that I can do down here. I can do a video call, an audio call, or share my screen or present my screen to her. So what I'm going to do now is start my video call. There's me. Hi, this is live. I'm going to click on Start Video. If you can hear my screen, what's happening is it's ringing Sarah. And there's Sarah. So Sarah and I are video chatting. We both have webcams on our computers, and we both have speakers and microphones. And Sarah, you're you're wearing earbuds. All right, great. Sarah and I are video chatting. I want to share my screen with her. I'm going to use this Present button down at the bottom here. I can present my whole desktop. I can present specific programs. Most often, I mean, Microsoft gives you this option that says present your PowerPoint file because we know that most often when we're doing an online meeting, we're going to have a PowerPoint presentation of some sort to share out. So I'm opening up a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go into my OneDrive presentations folder, and I'm going to open my Skype for Business webinar. What's happening is my PowerPoint presentation is loaded, and I have me and Sarah on tiny little video things in the bottom corner there of the screen. And then once it loads up, it's going to show the PowerPoint presentation to Sarah. And I can also things like give Sarah control so that she can share something from her desktop to me. So this is one way that we, that Sarah and I can jump into an impromptu web meeting just by connecting using Skype for Business, starting with a video chat or an instant message, and then presenting my screen.